hey friends, it's me, Pastor Doug, with another word of encouragement for the day for today, Monday, March 28th. And today we're going to be continuing our I Still Am series, where we've been exploring the various I Am statements that Jesus makes throughout the Gospel of John. We've looked over the past few weeks at the things that Jesus says throughout the book of John, things like, I am the bread of life, and I am the light of the world, and I am the good shepherd, and I am the gate for the sheep. And this week we're looking specifically at the statement that Jesus makes in John chapter 11, when he declares, I am the resurrection and the life. Now, that phrase occurs when Jesus shows up in a town called Bethany and meets with two sisters, Mary and Martha, on his way to resurrect their brother, Lazarus. Now, what's so interesting is Jesus knows what he's about to do. Jesus knows what he is going to do. He's going to raise Lazarus back from the dead. And yet, there's this beautiful, powerful, tender moment just before Jesus resurrects Lazarus that I want to show you today. It's found in John chapter 11, verse 35, and it says simply these two words, Jesus wept. You might be familiar with this uh, phrase or this verse. It's the shortest verse in the Bible. Uh, of course, when the Bible was originally written, these verses and chapter designations didn't exist. These were added later, but uh, the translators of the Bible into English broke this down into just two words. This, this verse is just two words. It says, Jesus wept. Now, what's so powerful about this for me is what it tells us about the, the, the character and the personality and, and the person of Jesus. Yes, Jesus is fully God, but he's not distant. He's not removed. He's not emotionally detached from the situations that we face as humans. He understands the pain and, and the depth of our sorrow to the point that even though he knew he was going to bring Lazarus back from the dead, he was so moved by this experience, so moved by his time with these two sisters who were mourning the loss of their brother and all of these other people that had gathered at the gravesite who were so Sad, who were mourning, who were grieving, and Jesus isn't detached from that. He, he is m so moved by this experience that it actually moves him to tears. That's what that word wept means. It didn't just mean, you know, that he put his head down or he got sad. It means he shed literal tears. I mean, this is Jesus, fully God and fully man, exhibiting and demonstrating real emotion, real care, real concern, real compassion. Friends, that tells us so much about what Jesus is like. Not only is he powerful enough to raise the dead, but he gets it. He understands what we're facing and what we're going through to the point that he's actually moved emotionally. It's a beautiful characteristic of our Lord and Savior, Jesus. So friends, be encouraged by this today. You and I are not alone in our difficult circumstances. You and I are not alone in our sadness or in our sorrow or in our grief or in our mourning. Jesus is in that with us, and he even allows himself to feel what we feel. Friends, be encouraged by that today, and we'll see you tomorrow. <laughs>